Hey, how's it going guys? Jackson here with Toasty DIY and today I'm actually going to be doing a little bit of welding and grinding and I guess you could say fabrication work. So Formula K Raceway go-kart over here and in the last video I did I basically showed how to do like a full oil change, how to do the wet clutch oil change, uh, spark plug and those, cleaned everything up, um, a couple other maintenance items while I was in there and uh, I noticed two really big cracks on the frame which I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera around and show you guys. So right here and these were both attempted to be welded before just they did an awful job um there's a huge crack still there and it looks like they just completely missed it and the weld's just like completely coming up i can almost move it with my hands so yeah it's not a good job but it looks like it cracked uh vertically all the way down there this member well so this is the factory weld here on one of them which is starting i think to kind of crack there because i think all that's really holding this together right now besides what's kind of left of this weld is these and this one here if you look it's almost completely out as well and then this one over here i don't know if that cracks newer or if it just never got welded but yeah that's just not even touched i do a decent job at welding it good penetration um paint it black we're good to go and i'll be happy with it so let's go ahead and get to grinding All right, so still a little bit of a mess, but as you can see, we got the um, old welds pretty much all the way out of there and I'm ground out. I really can't get too much on the side. So what I'm, what I'm going for is I'm just gonna use my uh, flux core welder, just basically crank it all the way up in there with the TIG welder. And even then, I'm not really worried about it looking amazing. So I, I'm just gonna go for it. And hopefully with the uh, flux welder, I can just really melt a lot of this old stuff. Cause as you can see, I really need to just re-weld all of this but between you know doing that welding and adding this angle iron uh, i'm definitely very confident that i can get this to be uh, very structurally sound so let's go ahead and get to welding now All right, let's see how the flux turned out. Definitely did not look like it was going on amazing, but I do feel very confident about getting a pretty deep weld on most of those at least. The ones that I could actually see what I was doing. It sucks that a lot of this is so low to the ground, I just, you know, really hard to actually um, tell what I was going for. But yeah, I mean, it's a lot better than it was. So, you know, I, I did lay some welds even on spots that didn't necessarily look like they needed them just because i'm like okay if this spot already broke through the metal and there's a good chance you know that spot's gonna break through so i'm gonna go ahead and cut those pieces up and we'll get them welded on all right guys check it out so yeah it's a little crooked because there's weld on this side over here so i'm just trying to get as close to the frame as possible i had to notch out a little piece to fit over this weld here but once i get it on it's a pretty good fit so um i'm pretty happy with it i'm just gonna do my best now to weld it on here um, i'm probably going to take the angle grinder too and kind of clean off a couple spots just so that i'm not having to weld through paint so we got the uh angle iron reinforcement on and so i purposely did patches of weld because typically especially with like repairs you don't really just want to do like a straight weld because the weld's more prone to crack that way i'm gonna go ahead and get some uh, engine enamel on here um it'll actually dry pretty well with the amount of heat from the weld finally ready for the last weld so i'll just show you guys the other side of that real quick so a little bit of a longer piece this time just because i could so i'm like hey why not let's uh, go a little longer but hey here's the other side painted and i'll show everything um all together once we're done but let's go ahead and get welding fun and unfortunate i ran out of freaking welding wire and uh you know normally i oh i just didn't look hard enough <laughs> as you always say normally i always have extra of everything on hand i hate running out of things but hey here we go we got some lincoln electric All right guys, so to go over just a little recap. So as you can see, everything's painted. I got the uh, safety wire 
re-zip tied down. I basically went through and uh, redid any of the old cracked welds. Here's one that's still exposed, for example, where I went through and just basically laid a nice new bead down. And then any of the welds that were just totally cracked through or where there wasn't even some welds where it was cracked, we went through and welded all of that. Two pieces of angle iron on each side. And then we basically just used uh, black enamel, engine enamel paint and got it all painted up and uh, kind of squared away. So I'm definitely a lot um, happier with it. I was riding it around and I'm, I don't even know how many years it was cracked like that at Renaissance with people riding it like that. I feel a lot better with this, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, you know, feel free to let me know any suggestions down below if you happen to, you know, weld or fabricate or uh, whatever, even if you don't do any of that, you know, feel free to ask questions or leave comments. But we will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.